right, so inside we showed you how to make the sugar solution. Now we're going to show you how to actually use it. And there's several different ways of feeding your bees. Probably the best way is to get a uh, internal feeder. They've got a, uh, basically it looks like a high box, you know, a high body. And inside it has a big tray and you pour the sugar solution in it. And, you know, about a gallon or so and then the bees can crawl up and the feed inside the hive okay that's a little expensive here's a cheaper alternative you have your uh, beehive your your bodies you put your inner cover and it's got that hole in the top this fits over the top of the hole and then you put an empty high, high body around it and therefore the bees can only get into that upper body by coming through the hole and then they can only get inside here and then you take two feeder jars and just put them inside and that's the way I used to do it uh, but the problem with that is I can't really check on you know um, the sugar levels and I've got to open up the top of the box and the wife is kind of afraid to do that you know uh, by herself whatever and and it's a better way but it's a little more difficult and so we use um, outside the box feeders, which, you know, there's some drawbacks to it. It can produce uh, robbing in your beehives, but since we feed them all, um, it seems not to have a problem. So let's talk a little bit about the jars. Basically, when you buy a feeder like that, it comes with these lids and you supply your own mason jars. You want to use the smaller ones because the big ones, if you feed internally, they're going to come up and you're not going to be able to put your uh, cover on the top. Now when we first did this, I just went and used the regular rings and lids, the mason jars, and I poked holes in them. But the problem was, because you have the ring and then the lid sits inside, it did not fit flush against these uh, screens, and so the bees couldn't get to it, right? And so if you're going to make them, rather than buy them, you want to use like uh, mayonnaise jar lids, something that's flat, and when you poke your holes, because the sugar solution's thick, and the uh, um, surface tension, it's not going to pour out. It's just going to drip and make beads, and then the beads take off. You know, the bees take the little beads off. If it poured out, it would drown them. So you need something that's going to fit flush against your feeding device. Okay. So we're going to fill these up and then I'm going to come over to the hive and let you see how we actually do it over here. Alright, there's our uh, feeder that we've put on. And here's one without the feeder. Okay, And the, the bees are pretty happy with this. They're pretty calm as I come up to, uh, to get the feeders out. And all it is... Is basically a little wood block with a hole and then the hole fits into the beehive right and the bees come in and then they can get the food and we just sit it right there just like that and they're pretty happy now with the top bar can't really do it that way so I'll show you how we do it with the top bar all right there's our top bar hive and I just use one of these internal feeders. And usually I use two jars, but four jars to one um, two liter Coke bottle is about all the sugar solution I can get. So I have to come back later. And I just slide it in like that. And that's probably not the best way, but that's how we do it. And it seems to work real good. And like I said, the sugar solution, you know, isn't the best way of feeding your bees, but it really stimulates them getting that working. And since it's been such a uh, warm winter, basically it was like spring, you know, fall, all winter, no snow, no ice, no nothing. Um, they're really active and, and lots of lots of bees, but not a lot of blooms. So I want to feed them so they, uh, so they don't die, so they don't starve. Okay? So until next time, you can always catch us online, www.tngun.com.